What's going on, Chill Army? DeAndreox7 here, and it is that time of the week again. A new episode of Pokemon Horizons has recently aired, so it's time for me to do my weekly discussions. This was such a conversation-heavy episode. Dot, though, grabs my attention immediately and has a very compelling personality from what I've seen so far. What Horizons would be like if we weren't dealing with the Explorers, the Black Rayquaza, the Pendant, and so on, has always been my main concern. What level of production value can we get from filler episodes of the show? Can Liko, Roy, and the others still be fun to watch? So far, the answer is unambiguously yes. I've had a lot of fun with this series, and I am finding myself eagerly anticipating the next episode every single week. So Murdoch spends the entire episode attempting to coax Dot out of her room by hiding treats in the kitchen, but he needs to do it covertly since, in his opinion, it's not cool. Murdoch's actions were admirable since they demonstrated his compassion for his niece and his understanding that the problem cannot be solved by just ejecting Dot out of her room. There are many facets to this relationship to explore. Despite what she claims about meals being a hassle and being too busy to go outside, Dot venturing out and receiving the treats at the end was a pretty sweet moment. I'll see myself out. <laughs> Jokes aside, she still responds to people's compassion despite what she claims. Dot's potential as a character, in my opinion, resides more in her interactions with Murdoch and Liko than in any particular issue that may be plaguing her. The episode emphasized the incredibly entertaining conversation she has with Liko. Both of them exhibit social awkwardness in quite different ways. Liko, unaware that Dot is Neato Thing, believes they can connect over their love of Neato Thing and gleefully extols all of Neato Thing's virtues without being asked. While the other girl is shouting her praises from the other side of the door, we can understand why Dot has this abrasive manner of speaking and comes across as short tempered and rude. Liko was very much the aggressor in this situation, whereas Dot is attempting to drive people away. I keep saying it, but thus far, Horizon's writing for the main characters is incredibly strong. In social settings, Liko exudes the uneasy energy of someone who is very self-conscious and introverted, yet when she is by herself or the topic of a passionate conversation, all of her extroverted qualities come out. She finds it tougher to deal with high energy and obviously odd personalities like Roy because they operate at completely different frequencies, but at the same time, she is this exact character to someone like Dot. Dot wouldn't have any issues at all, but Liko is too sweet of a person to tell Roy if he's bothering her. The crew's senior members, meanwhile, seem to have known one another for a very long period. The others are familiar with them well enough to be able to tell when they are holding secrets, but Murdoch has enough faith in Freed to keep his delicious baking a secret, which I love moments like this because, like I said in some of the other discussions I've had about Horizons, it really makes the crew feel like actual people. This episode gave me something else to look forward to aside the plot involving the mysterious pendant and ancient Pokeball. For a show, it's important to witness healthy connections among the large core group, and these kinds of episodes are very motivating. But anyway, that is going to conclude today's video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys like, comment, share this video with a friend, and subscribe if you're new, all that YouTube jazz. Uh, if you guys want to follow me on my social media or follow me on Twitch, links to those will be in the description down below, along with my second channel where I do a podcast with the homie George. I love you all, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Only good, chill army.